Okay, into Painter. File, New, Discard, Select. Where's my Ernie? High res, Bake, Ernie Low, uh, Good. Here's my Ernie Low. We're going to go to Textures, Bake Textures. We're going to do 2048s. You can go 4096. You can go 8192s if you want to do 2048s. We're going to pad this a little bit for mipping, possibly. Uh, for normal maps, we're going to say match by mesh name. So that way we're not getting normal errors. If we want to bake like the shoulders underneath those, the arms underneath the shoulders, we're not going to get like shoulder projection onto the arms. So we can just bake them separately. Um, you can use a cage file if you want to. You can just load that up, but I'm not going to bother. And then Ernie High is our high res mesh. And Ambient Occlusion, you can also do uh, match by mesh name only. Uh, or you can say, you know what, I want to bake the normal separately, but if nothing's going to animate, then you might as well just bake everything as always for Ambient Occlusion. Now, since some of these things are going to be rotating around, I am going to go ahead and keep that as mesh name. So we have all the common parameters here. We're good. So I'm just going to hit Bake Ernie Textures and let that run for a minute. <laughs> yeah, that's part of uh, that's a good point. Um, Malchior is, and that's kind of the fun thing about development is not necessarily that things break. That's not fun, but learning problem solving techniques and stuff, and and the fact that it's kind of hard because you can't really get complacent in this industry because you'll be a dinosaur in like a month. Well, certainly after if like five years, if you haven't updated your workflows, you're probably borderline becoming obsolete just how fast this industry moves and the technology and the tools i'm um, not to say you're obsolete i mean good design is experience um problem solving building up experience and probably something over time uh but always especially as an artist being aware of new tools that are coming out and new techniques and new workflows you don't want to you know and it just makes stuff faster like when new tools come out it's generally so that you can do stuff faster and better as opposed to, well, I already, I already know how to use the clay brush. Like, why would I want to learn anything else in ZBrush? It's like, well, there's other cool stuff. Oh, yeah, if you are exporting out of ZBrush, good, uh, good point. Um, if you're exporting out of ZBrush, make sure you do rename everything to underscore low. And did I, I'm going to hop back into Maya, make sure I, oh, that's right. These are all high. <laughs> is it doing it anyways? Okay. So here, okay. When this is done, this will be interesting if it does it anyway. That's funny. Or did it just bake through and do a pretty good job? I think it went ahead and did it, but what, what you need to do is to under name and underscore low because it's looking for these prefixes and suffixes. You can change these to whatever you'd like, but underscore high and underscore, high and underscore low is the default. Um, usually, I would rename those to underscore low, but I'll be damned if it didn't just do it anyways. Did it bake? Yeah, I think it. I think it baked fine. That's weird. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for uh, the heads up. But uh, yeah, it still worked. Ta-da! I meant to do that. Just kidding. Uh, I'm, I'm an idiot. But it happened to work that time. So if you're watching, make sure, like um, Nevalyashka69 said, um, under, when you're doing your low res, obviously, you want to make sure you name these to underscore low. I didn't bother. And uh, it kind of worked. How about that? It says baking failed, but you know what? It looked like the, okay. One of the things that where it says baking failed might've been your material ID. So if I go in here and do like, okay, let's drop in a uh, fill layer here and say, make a black, add a black mask color selection, go to color selection and pick a color. Nothing shows up. My color ID is not in there. So what I found for some reason, when you go to bake textures, we've already baked all this stuff. Go ahead and uncheck it all on your material ID. It's saying bake the vertex color. Uh, using the hue shift and it should work so just go ahead and bake just the material id and that 
usually ends up doing it. For some reason, if you bake everything at once, the material IDs don't bake out. But if you just do the material ID, it bakes fine. So you'll see here, if I go remove mask, you can see I can just drag this into the base color. We'll do a tile of one. And then there's our vertex color as material IDs. So FYI, I didn't know that either until a couple days ago. We figured that one out. Um, so there we go, off to the races here. Let's go ahead and go to our smart materials here. We already made our robot from our previous robot. We made our salt one, so we can start there. Um, oh, I wanna give a shout out, hold on. We have, um, <laughs> let me go to my messages here real quick. Um, while that's loading and populating. And actually, now that that's working and all that good stuff, I don't need this stuff anymore. I can say this is a working file. 